introduced in 2005 at the 39th Tokyo Motor Show, the Concept X was unveiled, finally making its production runs in 2007 through 2016 with its demise. Evolution X came with an all new 4B11T turbo engine with at least 276 horsepower that replaced its predecessor, the 4G63T. With that said, the engine is slightly and overall a better engine compared to the 4G63T engine on a stock to stock comparison. But just how reliable is the Evo X? Today, I'll be going over the common issues that may come up during your ownership of this car and help educate you on your future purchase. Let's get started. In the five speed transmissions, the master cylinder is made up of mainly plastics and is connected to the rear firewall and it can fail completely. If that happens, you won't be able to actuate the clutch. So you should upgrade the master cylinder and you'll be good to go. During corners, you may hear knocking noises in the front suspension. You'll need to basically lubricate your front suspension struts to get rid of the noise, which is easy to do. Along the same topic, the Billstein dampers can break. If you're still experiencing the knocking noise or just an odd noise in general, then most likely the dampers have reached its limits and you should replace them or rebuild them. The fuel pump relay goes bad over time and there is an upgraded blue one that will fix this issue with this part number, 8627A024. The problem mainly occurred in the early Evo X models. The pre-2011 Evo X cars have two main issues that would deter me from buying these years. First, it is the dip pin issue. Basically, the dip pins will snap and fail. A few symptoms you may have is more noise coming from the diff, rattling, and finally, you'll see a puddle of diff fluid on the ground. This can ultimately destroy your diff and all this can happen fairly quickly. Second is the timing chain issue. Basically, the timing chain stretches over time and you will throw the code P0012 and usually around under 50,000 miles. The idle may start to flutter and you'll have a decrease in power and efficiency. The only fix to this is to replace the timing chain with an upgraded one. Ideally, these chains should last the timeline of the car, but not in the Evo X, apparently. If you are hearing a whining noise that increases as you drive and gets the loudest at around 40 miles per hour, then it is most likely the input shaft bearing from the gearbox and you'll have to replace that bearing, which isn't much of a fun job to do. The noise should go away as you accelerate and when you press in the clutch, although you can still hear the noise on some when you accelerate. The AYC pump fails. This is probably the most failed item on the car and you can actually relocate it to an easier location for future replacement and to prevent it from failing again. Basically, the location on the rear wheel is a bad factory spot. Gunk, water, and debris from the wheels will basically get all over the AYC pump and allow it to corrode and fail prematurely with an internal oil leak and internal plate and or motor will go out. Used ones will sell around $600-$800 so a relocation kit is a necessity in my opinion. When you turn on the climate control, you, you might smell a gross fishy-ish smell. Then most likely your evaporator drain hole is blocked. Obviously, you will need to unblock the hole to get rid of the smell. In the early models, pre-2011, the MAF sensors tend to fail prematurely and you'll have to replace it. However, I would definitely try to clean it first to see if that fixed the MAF engine code P0102 and the stumbling throttle. For some reason, there has been a lot of reports of these manifolds cracking within the first year of ownership. So most of the cracked manifolds should have been fixed. However, you can still crack them due to the endless amount of heat cycles they go through. You can either get the crack welded or upgrade to tubular exhaust manifold. Welding it, however, is like putting a band-aid on it because it may crack again. So upgrading it would be the best option. Here's some extras. The 2008 models have had a very rich tune and started to get revisions that made a difference in 2011. Fill coat peels on the surface with direct sunlight contact. 
Just seems like the paint is where Mitsubishi cut some corners, but if you wax it routinely, you should be okay. Overall, the Evo X is pretty amazing and a very track-worthy car, but that does come with quite a few issues that can be pretty costly. Namely, the pre-2011 models can be the most costly. I would ultimately avoid those years altogether. By mid-2011, Evo had fixed most of these issues, but I would stick with the 2012 and up models. Other than that, simple things can fail along with the AYC pump, but if you're proactive, you can relocate it before it starts to give you trouble that you could have avoided. Guys, if this helped you out and you like this type of content, quick, simple, and straight to the point, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. This is Chris Automotive. Always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you next time.